watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. Job 17.11 My days are past, my purposes are broken off, even the thoughts of my heart. A blessed new year to you, my friend. By the grace of God, may every day of the year 2021 be filled with the blessings of hope, peace, and joy for you. Living with Jesus is what I am encouraging you to do this year. May you experience the sweetness of communing with Him every day. As the song goes, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Or, as the other beloved song says, sweeter as the years go by. Richer, fuller, deeper. Jesus' love is sweeter, sweeter as the years go by. Yes, enjoy the sweetness of His love every day of this year, 2021. Today, let me start another series of lessons on dealing with defeat. Yes, how to properly deal with defeat in life is a lesson that all of us must learn at the start of this brand new year. We must admit that we all have setbacks, failures, mistakes, losses or defeats in life. Nobody is perfect in this planet we call Earth. Don't tell me that perfecto is perfect. Even perfecto is imperfect. The Word of God says in James 3, 2, we all stumble in many ways or in many things. The New Revised Standard Version says, for all of us make many mistakes. James in this context deals with the believer's speech, how to speak with care. And James warns that nothing seems to trip a believer more than a dangling or an untamed or a careless tongue. But we will not be dealing with a tongue in this episode of God's Word for you today. We will focus on the first part of what James said in this verse, which in the King James or in the New King James Version says, For we all stumble in many things. We all stumble in many things. There's a word of caution for you here. Do not make this verse as an excuse or alibi for living your life as you please by saying, anyway, James says we all commit many mistakes. No, nope. this verse does not give you the right to live your life as you please because God has set, has a set of standards that we as believers are to live by. James is simply pointing out a reality in life or a fact of life, and that is every one of us at one point or another will fail at something. We all stumble in many ways, including in the way we speak. James basically is telling us that making mistakes, stumbling or failing, or experiencing defeat is a part of life and we should expect it or admit it. Why? Because study shows that people who are devastated the most by their failures are those who think and believe that they can live life without ever making a single mistake. They think they believe that they should always win. They ought to be number one all the time. These people are the perfectionists. They cannot accept losses. They cannot accept defeats. They cannot accept failures. 
and they are devastated by the thought of losing or even inadvertently committing a mistake. My friend, if you don't want failures, setbacks, or defeats to have a devastating effect on your life, you need to learn to properly deal with them or handle them with the right attitude or the right frame of mind. You don't have to allow your failures or defeats to make you feel like Job of old felt. At the lowest point of his life, Job said in Job 17.11, My days are past. My purposes are broken off. Even the thoughts of my heart. Do you understand what Job is saying here? As if Job is saying, It's over. My hope has disappeared. My heart's desires have been destroyed. And my dreams have been shattered. There's nothing left for me. It's game over for Job. That's how he felt when God allowed him to go through such a fiery and painful trial. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever felt that because of a failure or, the, or a defeat in life that it's all over? Have you ever felt like your hope for the future had vanished? Have you ever felt like your desires or dreams were shattered? If you have ever felt like your dreams have been shattered and your hope for the future has gone, that simply mean, means that you are a true human being. You are really part of the human race. You are not a phantom. You are not a robot. But your feeling of defeat doesn't have to end that way. You don't have to feel that way all year long or your whole lifetime because you can actually conquer those feelings of defeat and failure and move on to a brighter future if you will just let God teach you and enable you to learn how to deal properly with a problem of defeat. One writer said, There is no doubt in mind that there are many ways to be a winner, but there is only one to be a loser, and that is to fail and not look beyond the failure. John Maxwell said, The difference between average people and achieving people is their perception of and response to failure. In other words, if you want to lead a life that is victorious, abundant, or to the full till it overflows, and this is the life that only the Lord Jesus Christ can give, you need to have a proper perception of failure and a proper response to failure. So today, I humbly urge you to admit that failures are part of your being human. Allow your failures to draw you closer to God and teach you to trust Him more. Learn from your past experiences of failures and defeats and look beyond your failure to the future. The result will amaze you. You will become a better person. You will become the person that God wants you to be. That is God's word for you today.